Hey guys, hope you're well. I have to apologize. I'm so sorry I haven't been around lately. I can't even remember. I think it's been one or two weeks since I've done a video and I've just been really busy at work and some stuff has come up. So I'm really happy to be back here today. I've got time to do one and I thought it would be really fun to do another makeup tutorial since I've had a few people write in and say they'd like me to do another one. And this one's going to be really easy. It's pretty much using one palette. Easy to use product for uh, low maintenance, easy breezy summer look. So, easy breezy beautiful cover girl, but it's not a cover girl product. It's Becca <laughs> from Australia. Um, so, stay tuned and I'll show you how to rock the look that I've got on right now. It's really not that hard. <laughs> I'll see you in a sec. So, let's get started. So first, the palette that I'm using is a Becca palette, and this is an Australian brand. It's a really, really fantastic um, palette here. So you've got your lip gloss. This is a, a multi-use product, so it's a whoops, a brush drop. It's a um, cheek stain as well as a lip stain, and then you've got three options for eyeshadows right here. Um, so it's really easy, very natural look to accomplish. So it's just really fun. I, I love this um, this palette, and if any of you wanted to buy it, it's called the Halcyon Days Collection too. So let's get started. I'm going to begin, um, because it's summer and I love radiant products or shimmering products that don't make you look sparkly, but just make you look luminescent and natural. Um, so this is also a brand from from or a, a product from the Becca range. It's called their Shimmering Skin Perfector. They come in a few different shades, but I'm going to use Opal. I've already put my moisturizer on, um, so I'm going to squirt a little bit of this on my hands. It's really pretty. The opal's kind of got a little bit of a bronze in there, but this really just highlights your skin. So I'm going to go ahead and rub that on. A little bit more on my forehead. I don't have a lot of time to do makeup in the summer as I'm sure every, a lot of your guys' schedules get more busy with, you know, social events and things like that. So I try to keep it pretty simple unless I'm going out. And this really is a nice palette just for an easy everyday look. Okay, so that's the Shimmering Skin Perfector. And then I love using tinted moisturizers and I thought I would just stick with that one because um, I didn't want to have to worry about foundation today. And my go-to tinted moisturizer that I've been using for years and recommended to anyone is, I know I've mentioned it before in my videos, but it's Laura Mercier's um, Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20. And I think she's got a few ones. This is the illuminating one and I swear by this. So this one already gives me a bit of radiance, but I'm just going for double radiance. <laughs> That's why I put the Shimmering Skin Perfector on. So we'll do, put a little bit of this down to the bottom of it. I try to scrape out every last bit because they're kind of, it was a retail for like 45 or something. So I'm going to squirt a little bit of this and just apply that over the shimmering skin perfector. What's so great about Laura Mercier's tinted moisturizer is that it really does give you good coverage. I don't, I don't have problematic skin so I don't I don't necessarily have to worry about covering pimples. It's more redness on my cheeks and nose that I get. Um, but her, this this coverage is really like a, you know, really good light to medium coverage. It, it takes out most of the redness in my skin, and it just doesn't feel like I have anything on, and it gives me a really great natural looking tan. I always like to make sure it's. I'm always paranoid about blending stuff in because we want it. I don't have anything on. Okay, so it should be looking nice and illuminated now. You can see in this light, hopefully. Um, okay, so that's that. And then next are a few other little little uh, products I like to use. Um, what should I do? I'll do my Bobbi Brown tinted. Oh my gosh, I've got product on my hands now, so I can't open this. Oh, there we go. Can I turn it? <sighs> I need to get some tissues. Hold on. Sorry about that. I had zero grip to open my product. Okay, so this is the I'll rip it off for you so it looks doesn't look so gross. Bobbi Brown's tinted oh no. Yeah, tinted eye brightener. This just helps with dark circles. And I really like it because it doesn't look cakey around your eye, like some concealers I've tried. My eye my eye circles aren't too bad. Is this coming out? There we go. I like this one, and then um, 
I have Chanel's Eclat Lumiere. That's a really another that's another good one for uh, under eye circles. And then another one I haven't tried, but I always read about is YSL's um, highlighter for the um, for the eye area. And that will probably be my next my next purchase. I'd like to try that, especially since so many people say it's good. Okay, so that's the tinted eye brightener, and then I'm going to take my um, Mac paint or paint pot in Painterly, and this is like a, a base for your eyeshadow, which this is something I've started to play with as well. I don't usually powders like face powder and um, you know primers and stuff for the eye is something I haven't I haven't tried very much of, um, but I really like this just for a nice base for your eyeshadow to stick to, and it helps with creasing and stuff like that. I find so I just use my finger pretty much for everything and apply that on the eye area beauteous alright next I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer because what's a summer look without accentuating um, some tan so I'm just going to use my Old Faithful NARS's Laguna that's what the color looks like, if you are curious. And I'm just going to start doing some highlighting in a figure eight. Don't want to be too bronzed up today. Just a nice flush of color. Just kind of brush my forehead and bring it down my nose. Looks kind of natural. Okay, now we can move on to the palette. So, actually, oh yeah, yeah, we are going to do the palette. Okay, so as I said, you've got five products, five product options here. So this one is the cheek stain and lip stain. So I'm going to take that just with my fingers and just put it on the apples of my cheeks. I find cream um, like cream based blushes can sometimes be difficult for my skin to make them blend really nicely. Um, like I've tried with a blush too, but they always just kind of want to sit there. But you look a bit like a doll. So I'm always really careful to blend it so it looks a bit more natural. Such a pretty coral color. Cor corals are so big for for summer and you can even just use this like on your, like put your a little bit of bronzer on and do this in your lips and it, it looks beautiful just like that. Does that look okay? Okay. So that's the blush and then I'm going to use this medium brown or this light brown here which is called muslin. And I'm going to use my brush that they gave to me in the palette. whole eyelid and up into the eyebrow arch. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to take the next shade, the medium brown, which is called Fail File. I'll give you a close up of these. So this medium brown here, which is like a copper gold, is really pretty. And I'm going to put this on the bottom part of my lid. great about palettes too is you can just pop them in your purse or if you're going on a weekend trip or something you know you really only need this and then your mascara and you're good to go 
So Becca does great palettes every season. And this one, as I said before, is called the Halcyon Days Collection. So there's this palette and there's some other products in the in the range too, but I really love this one. Okay, and then I'm going to take the last, the dark brown, mocha cup kind of brown called Chamois. And I'm just going to put that more in the crease for a bit of dimension. Blend it. The next step I'm going to do is they've got some great uh, eyeliners. This one is called Goa. It's their automatic eye pencil. And what's fabulous about this is you've got your color on one end and then on the other end you've got a smudger. So it helps you do that really sexy, slept in look. So I'm going to take this and apply it on my eyelid, trying to stick kind of close to the lash line. Whenever I do my makeup, I'm used to like getting really, really close because I cannot see. <laughs> so it's hard being this far away. The camera I'm using, it doesn't have a um, like a flip so you can see yourself and make sure like your whole face is in the camera. So I have to set it up sometimes and I've got a mirror right in front of me, but it's actually quite far away. So I really love this camera, but I wasn't thinking I should have invested in one that had the flip screen. Luckily with smudging, the line isn't defined. Otherwise, if the line was defined, I'd have to be really, really close up in there. Okay, so I just did a basic line on the top lid. And I'm going to go to the bottom now. Don't have to be too particular because we are just going to smudge it out anyway. Okay. Then we're going to take the other opposite end, or if you have a sponge, use the corner of your sponge or whatever product you have, and I'm just going to start smudging that line out. I love that that eye look of not trying too hard. So we're just going to not make that line as defined by just trying to push it up and up and out. And easy. Hopefully that looks okay. Considering I can't get too close to my mirror. All right, so that is the eye, and now we will do the mascara, which I am going to use Dior Show Mascara in 090. Did you like that accent? I don't know quite what that was. I think I was trying to be French there. Oui, oui. Okay, and next we'll do lip, least but not last. No, it's the last but not least. Okay, so we're going to take the coral lip stain color, the same one I did on my cheeks, called Bougainvillea. And I'm just going to apply some more to make it pop a bit. And then I'm going to take this one here, which is called Mai Tai, and that's the um, lip gloss. I like the cocktail, and I'm going to apply that right over the top to give it a bit of shimmer and shine. So, this is the final product. Hope I look nice. Voila! Nice and easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I promise not to be such a flake. I've just been really lazy lately and, and busy with work. So, I will be uploading more videos. I want to be doing like one a week, hopefully. So, thank you guys for watching, and I promise I will see you soon. Bye!